One of my biggest frustrations in developing apps in the app model is dealing with some of the cross-domain challenges, um, and especially as that relates to images. So I might have an app that's running in Azure, and I might want to display images that live on some other site in a different domain. Now, in some cases, we can configure everything so that it works perfectly, but that's not always the case. So um, I might need everything to be in the same IE security zone, um, or maybe I need to have at least visited that site so that I have a, a token, an active token in my browser. So those are all challenges that we run into. And if, the, if all the stars don't align just right, um, we end up with a bad experience. Another thing that I might have is, you know, for some OAuth scenarios, I, I might actually store the user's access tokens so that they don't have to go through a whole login process. Well, if I, again, if I've never really authenticated, I'm just using that access token to get to data, I'm certainly not going to be able to display uh, an image that isn't available anonymously where I have to be authenticated. Um, these are big challenges, but there is a solution, and I'm going to show you kind of the way that I've gone about solving this. First, let me show you the issue and, and show you kind of what's going on behind the scenes. So I'm going to go ahead and, and run a provider-hosted app here. This is going to be an app um, that because I'm debugging, it's going to be provider-hosted on localhost, but it could be Azure. It could be really anywhere. Um, so here's my app loading. Um, you can see in the URL that it is most certainly localhost. So you can see up there in the URL, I'm localhost 44368. And you can see that I'm trying to display an image here. And if I view the properties of this, what you'll see is I'm actually displaying an image from my app web. So even though this app web is specific to this app, I'm having that same challenge. Now in this case, um, I'm not authenticated to that app web, and therefore it's it's not allowing me to display the image. And actually, there's a better way to kind of see what's going on here. Let me go ahead and, and zoom out. And what we'll do instead is, let me bring up the IE developer tools, one of my favorite tools in the world here. And let's actually do a network trace of this. So I'm gonna go ahead and press play. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna right click this image and try to get it to reload. So all I'm gonna do is say show picture, and now we can go back and you can see here's what happened when I tried to reload that picture. So it first went out to, to get a request and it said, nope, can't do that. I'm gonna redirect you. Uh, let's go a little further. I'm gonna redirect you to authenticate.aspx. And then authenticate ASPX is gonna return me to a default form and ultimately you can see it even took me to login.microsoftonline.com slash login. And, and so basically what's happening here is, is through the image, the request of the image, it's trying to go and do all this browser jumping around. Now, if I went and just pulled up this image, just I copied the URL and put it into my browser um, address, it would be able to bring that up. Now, what you'd see it do is all that redirection occur, but an image control can't do all that redirection. And that's why we get the issue of our images not displaying. So what I did is, is said, well, maybe there's a, a, a better way for me to display images. Because I'm again, I may never actually authenticate. Um, I might just have an access token. I use this technique quite frequently when I'm dealing with Yammer, where I have an access token that's good forever. Why would I have my users log in? Um, and so here's what I decided to do is I created an image service. It's basically a RESTful service where I can pass in an access token, a site, a folder, and a file name. And then what I can do with that is I can go using the REST API server side, I can go get that file by passing the access token in the header. So you can see here, I'll just uh, zoom in again. You can see in my um, header, I'm putting an authorization with that bear token. Um, and then what I'm gonna do is instead of returning the URL of the, of the image, I'm actually going to go get the image bytes and return it in a base64 encoded string, which an image control, a modern browser is gonna be able to display that. So 
that's basically what I'm gonna do here. And so um, I have, I actually am doing that in a couple of different ways. Let me uncomment out these two other images. So I am going to load the image normally through the absolute URL. And again, we've seen that already, it's gonna fail. Then I'm gonna load it two other ways. One is server side, I'm going to call, um, you know, as the page loads, I'm going to call my get image RESTful service um, and go get that base64 encoded image. I'm also going to call it client side. So I have some script up here that's loading my Chrome control. But the important part is this block right here. This is where I'm actually calling my image service and you can see I'm passing it the access token. Um, I'm doing you know a JSON request. And then once that data comes back, I'm setting the source of my image. And so here, I don't, I don't, there's no authenticated client side needed. Nothing has to happen client side because I already have all the details of the image that I need to display. So let's take a look and see if the magic all works. So we'll go ahead and play this again. The only thing that I've done here is I had my other images basically in a hidden div. So we'll go ahead and, and launch this. So here it goes. It's going and um, bringing up our app. And what we should see is one bad image and two good ones. Here it goes. And voila, there we go. We have one or two good images and one bad image. The two good images were both loaded because they are as they're a base64 encoded string. In fact, if I were to again bring up my developer tools and get my little picker here, what you'll see is if I go to the source of this picker, it's actually, um, and, the, and the IE tools have truncated it here, but it's a base64 encoded string. It's not a typical URL. Um, actually, both those bottom ones are. Um, so just again, you know, kind of looking at this side by side, um, I'll refresh my page here. Let me actually go to uh, my script debugger. We'll go ahead and, and F5 my page. And we'll see a bunch of things in here, but I want to point out the, the really interesting ones. Um, one is, is the call out to my localhost service to get that image, and that's right here. So you can see I'm actually passing in an access token um, and, and telling it what image I want. But if we were to go look at the details of what's coming back, the response body is my base64 encoded string. And obviously, um, unless you're a complete savant, you can't read a base64 encoded string. Um, you need a, a computer to do that. But that's what it's able to do. And again, um, if we went back to the summary here, we should be able to see where I get rejected. Here's the login where the image that is an absolute path is getting that whole authenticate process. So hopefully this shows you how we can actually do um, images good in this app model. Um, it's a, a bit of a workaround, but it gives us the ability to display images regardless if the user is even authenticated to, um, to SharePoint Online. Um, and so this sample will hopefully be a part of the Office AMS uh, community contributions in the near future and you can have beautiful images in your apps regardless of the situation.